Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Taib Mukhtar. I study in class 5th. I am from Ikra International School. So today my topic is characteristic of living things. So the characteristics of living things are definite structure, feeding, response to stimuli, excretion, growth, reproduction, respiration, movement. But you guys should remember that Living things are very different and complicated from non-living things. So let us come to the characteristic of living things and let's study deeply what living things can do rather than non-living things. So first of all, we will come to definite structure. The bodies of all organisms, that is living things, are made up of tiny structures called cells. Organisms can be classified as unicellular or multicellular unicellular organism and organisms whose body is made up of only one cell and all their life processes are carried out by a single cell or by a single cell only example is bacterium and the plural of bacterium is bacteria so now multicellular organisms and organisms whose body is made up of on many cells of many cells is called multicellular organisms example rose plant and tiger growth now growth uh, all organisms grow in size due to an increase in the number of cells 